We've put umpires on a pedestal and made them a, a larger part of the game than they actually need to be. Put their ego in the locker when they start their career and pick it up when they finish their career. Just to put it into perspective, uh, the two umpires, Brett Allen and Matthew Head, walked on the plane, were on the uh, red eye coming back from Perth on Friday night. Their umpiring had been a little controversial and uh, in a smart aleck fashion, I'd uh, said something to the effect uh, the of Brett Allen of, uh, geez, what about you blokes tonight? And with that, Matthew Head was the one who replied, now we know what it's like to have a victory. It's all a very, very unsavoury affair. What it has done, of course, Mike, is to uh, put into question the whole integrity of the umpiring system. I do not back away from my version of the story for one second. Umpire Matthew Head said it. The allegation that umpire Matthew Head stated, now we know what it feels like to have a win, is not substantiated. Matthew. Hey, hello. One question I, I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. Did you say it? No. Yeah, 15 years ago was a big story at the time. Uh, it played out a bit today as well. Um, we're talking about it, uh, guys, on, on my radio show on Hot Breakfast on Triple M. And Matthew Head was going for a jog. He was listening in and he rang in. And he had this to say about the situation. There were three free kicks paid, which were, re which were um, uh, resulted in goals to Fremantle, which were not, not correct, right? So, so they, they were errors. There, there was the killer one was about 10 minutes to go, paid to Luke McFarlane where he uh, paid a free kick, hands around the waist, and it just, there just wasn't enough there, right, to pay for a kick. So that was the killer. Yeah, so admittedly, he made three f incorrect decisions that resulted in goals. As we saw there, the game was decided with a kick after the siren. Um, it was interesting, Grant Thomas rang up afterwards and said that he'd caught up for a beer with Matthew Head and they'd resolved their issues, they talked it through. So that was fantastic to see in that situation. I was on that plane and uh, I... Everyone who spoke today actually had their part of it pretty much exactly as I remembered it all happening. I've always believed in that situation now that the umpires were having a bit of a, a laugh. They were joining in in the banter of the situation. But you but heard I, it. You heard I him heard, say it. Yeah. Yeah. You heard him say now it knows how it feels to have a victory. Or and I heard at the time, I actually the looked four back... four and 20. Yeah, I, I mean. went back on the notes, to, going back to what I said on the footy show, so that I was actually... F clear in my mind what was said at the time. And I think uh, somebody else said something like f uh, four points and 20 grand, which is what uh, uh, that was the uh, fine for Grant Thomas during the week for the uh, check your ego in at the door situation of four points. So there was a bit of banter going back and forth. There was no doubt that the umpires were agitated because the St Kilda Football Club at the time said that they came in in single file and, uh, you know, acted a bit aggressively in the room before the game. And from there on, it, it went from there. But... Uh, but what, really what intrigued time. me, and I, I know you talked about the 4 and 20 comment at the mm. time, 15 years ago. I've never heard you say before that you heard Matthew Head say this is how a victory feels. And Ed, Tony Jones, I mean, I wrote about this at the time too. Tony Jones's career was on the line. Andrew Dimitriou was pressuring Channel 9. My memory is that he was talking to the boss at the time, Paul Waldron, about Tony, who stuck by his story. Mm. Matthew Head was denying it. Why did you not come out more strongly in defence of Tony at the time? Well, I heard this morning what the guy said. It just matched everything that I said at the time. We got on... We were exhausted on that flight, Caro, but I spoke to uh, Tony about it. Tony and I spoke about it before he did the story. He said, did you hear? And I said, yeah, that's, that's what I heard. They said that. And he was the vibe of what was going on Yeah, I just thought, why didn't, why didn't you come to Tony's defence at the time? I thought I did. I thought I did on the footy show on the Thursday night and I thought I did along the way there. Oh, I think... I'm not sure... I think yeah, Tony, well, was, well, Tony was surprised to hear you say this morning on yeah. Triple M that you heard the Now I Know How a Victory Feels. I've always said to Tony and I've always said to Grant Thomas, we've spoken this all the way through, that this is what I felt, but I always felt that it wasn't going off in the direction that people were talking about. I thought it was more in jest and in the uh, to put the colour around the story. I felt that it was the umpires after a hard week getting on and having a bit of a, a laugh on the way through with the... Uh, well, the they, it, was a, it was a pretty silly thing to say. Yeah, and, it was, but that's right. Jokes sometimes have an edge. Was them. he saying, though, there, that he didn't say it? I just heard that quick grab with yeah, but Tony I, Jones. Look, he still again, denies saying it. But he said, didn't he even still say it in a joking saying it. Now, Why would Tony Jones mm. make it up? No, and it was a person... Uh, but as always, it's about context. I think that's yeah. the point. Ed's no, 
but he said he did. But it finished say it. Matthew Head's career. He umpired eight games after that. Yeah, three so, more years. So we're talking about Tony games. Jones. Yeah, it's a, and I think there's another person who actually had taken though. that note down on the back of a. Uh, a, a a Qantas yep. uh, boarding pass as well. So it wasn't as if it was was lacking in, in evidence at the time, but it was one of those things that was said and then it, it took off. There was and a I... lot of pressure on Tony at the time. And and I, I know what Andrew Demetrio is like when he takes you on. He would have... Maybe he advised Matthew Head to keep denying it. Anyway. Who knows?